Hey guys, welcome to Frog's Prop Shop. Today we are going to be making Geordie LaForge's visor from Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, very easy build, very quick build. I'll show you exactly what you need. First thing, wrap around some glasses. These are readily available from AliExpress. Uh, they're not expensive at all, very very cheap. A couple of pounds, pound fifty, something like that. Now you can see, look at them, how this is sort of the beginning. Easy enough to do. Uh, you want these because of the shape mainly, because they've got the curved shape. Because the next thing you'll be using, uh, a lot of girls will recognise these from the 90s and what. It's a banana clip, I believe it's called. Again, a couple of pounds off eBay, not expensive at all. You can kind of see where we're going with here. A lot of boys when they were kids would have seen these and, you know, straight away, George LaForge. Uh, they come in a variety of colours. Usually when you buy them, you buy them in a pack. So, the main thing is we're going to be installing one of those in the front of this. Very simple. So, I've jumped ahead a wee bit and done some work already, but I'll show you what we've done and we'll show you we'll catch up. Number one, get your Dremel, your saw, whatever you're using, remove in here these two nose guards, this centerpiece, and widen the nose a little bit if you want. Uh, it's meant to fit flush against the face and when you do that it lifts right up because, well, they're from AliExpress. Uh, everything from AliExpress tends to come from like to China and things and they'll tend to be a lot smaller. Uh, next thing, after doing that is to remove the visor and spray the full thing. Uh, while I was doing mine, I also removed this wee bit, and you can see here there's like a fish tail, I removed that too, while I was at it. So we'll take it, spray the full thing silver, put the lens back in. Bang. So. Step one. We're almost there. Already. Next thing. Take your one of these, and put it against your visor. Try and get, get an idea of the width, where it's going to sit and cut it off at the edge of your lenses so it will fit in perfectly. After you've cut it off with your bits of this, paint them. Silver, gold teeth. Uh, any way you want to do it is fine. Uh, a way I did it was surprisingly. I originally wanted to do it the other way around but this was better. I spray painted them both gold. I got a silver sharpie and ran around the rim and around the top. Easy. So just in case of taking a sharpie and giving it a little colour in with it. Uh, silver paint I'm sure will be fine as well, whatever you have. I just so happen to have a sharpie here. Uh, my original plan was to spray paint it silver and put in a gold sharpie. But this turned out a lot easier. So, just touch me up there. After we've done that, we're going to be installing them into the sunglasses. So, I'm going to be using hot glue. You can use super glue, you can basically use whatever you want here. Any adhesive would be fine, yeah, as long as it'll bond plastic and plastic. Super glue is usually the best. So, first of all, you will not be touching this front of this visor again. Clean it now because. You'll never be able to do it again after you put this on. So let's just give it a wee clean. We'll be doing that as we're going along anyway. Now you might find your visor doesn't sit in as well as it did, your lens, whatever. Doesn't sit in as well as it did because you've removed the back bit for stability. But once you put your glue in there, it's not going to make a shit difference anyway. So, you want to take your first piece and you want to glue it in the top. And you take your next piece and glue it in the bottom. Very straightforward. Uh, let's head down and we'll get this hot glued. Okay, so let's do this. There are all my pieces. We're going to be going straight in here. 
So you start with the top. After you've cut it, either bit can go top or bottom, it doesn't really make a bit of difference. So, there be your top piece of the visor, and we just need to put in the bottom piece. The same way, just go to the bottom instead of the top. And try not to touch the hot glue because it burns like a motherfucker. Right. And then you can see there, almost straight away, is your visor taking shape. Got a wee bit of hot glue to clean up with the edges. Nothing too bad. Nothing that can't be touched up. So I'm just going to hold that while that dries anyway. But you can see there, there is your visor. Very easily done. Very, very cheap. This build costs maybe maybe four five pounds in the most in the proper costume piece it would look absolutely fine so let's see how it looks i can see through this absolutely fine my vision is not obscured at all and it looks pretty damn good, almost perfect. Slight reflective surface underneath, which stops your eyes from showing through. If you don't like the reflective surface, obviously you can leave the lens out, but personally, I think it adds to it. If you want to go with different colours, you can of course go with some different colours. Uh, I've seen some very nice ones done with uh, green and blue and things like that, but we're waiting for the standard Georgia LaForge colours, silver and gold. You can even try swapping them out, gold with a silver tooth on the inside, but, done. Uh, next time, hopefully if my parts have arrived, we are going to be working on FBI badges from the X-Files. Obviously, well, some legal issues with that uh, in the US, but over here in the UK, FBI is not really a thing, so we can do what we want. Uh, so I'll be making that, and uh, probably putting a disclaimer stuff at the beginning anyway. We'll catch you next time.